Hi YouTubers, Gasser Dave here. This is an introduction to my brand new YouTube channel, Hot Rods by Gasser Dave. So stay tuned and we'll give you a tour of my Gasser and then a little bit about what my channel is going to be about. So stay tuned. So here's my 1957 Gasser. It started out as a 210. I've kind of made it look like a Bel Air. I've done all the work myself. I'm trying to keep it on the cheap and affordable side, meaning I do all the work and I try to make sure that it's still done professional as I can do it. And so let's get into some of the particulars. It's got that standard gasser stance with a straight axle in the front from Speedway. I also have a fuel cell in the front. Currently it's not used for anything. And of course the uh, blower hood scoop. Okay, I don't know if you can see this, but the axle is a straight axle kit from Speedway. I've installed it on the stock frame rails. And I'm currently using Blistine gas shocks in the front. Now the engine is a 383 500 horse roller motor. It's got Edelbrock heads and Edelbrock tunnel ram, full MSD ignition, dual 600 carbs. As you can see, I'm also running air conditioning. This is Texas after all. I also have a fan shroud, a nice custom ground cam from Comp Cams to give it that special gasser thump that I think all gassers should have. I have completely redone the trunk, replaced uh, the fuel tank with a fuel cell. I also placed the battery in the back of the trunk. I've replaced all the insulation underneath the trunk lid and I replaced a new rubber floor mat. Okay, so here's the interior of my car. It uses Pro Car Pro 90 seats without headrests. I also ordered a center console to match from, I think it's Consoles R Us. As you can see, it's a full Bel Air dash. I do have air conditioning, as you can see by my vents. I don't have any door panels yet, but we'll discuss that in a minute. I do have the back seat covered to match the front seat. I have complete new carpeting. It's a Muncie four speed. I've also had the floor Dynamat and it's completely rewired with an American auto wire kit. I also have a retro radio, as you can see installed in the dash. Let me get around to the other side and I'll show you some more. Here we are on the driver's side. You can see my center console. It's a supposed to be a gold steering wheel, although in the sun it has turned more of a bronze. I also have different gauges installed and the gauges I have our auto meter, fuel, and uh, water temp. Not to mention the other gauges I have that are summer gauges on the bottom. You have to have that gasser pedal. And I also have a tachometer and a vacuum monitor engine. As you can see on this side, I do have a door panel started. If you're wondering so, why I'm videotaping this uh, in a different location and I've changed, it's because I forgot to uh, have the car running at my last video shoot.
here's a shot of the car running. Uh, currently, it's uh, going through the exhaust. I also have the exhaust cutouts. Let me uh, open those for you. with the exhaust cut out. I better turn them back because the neighbors are going to complain. There you have it. There's a picture of my 57 running. Again, stay tuned to my channel. And uh, let's see how this goes. Okay, in my first video, besides this introduction video, I'm having a sort of a overheating problem and I run about 100 degrees warmer than the outside temperature. Being in Texas, today is about 92, as you can see me sweating. So I'm running about 192. If it's 100, I run 200. And uh, it's not so bad during the cooler months of the year, but I drive this car year round. So I'm going to attempt to do some fixes and we'll go over that on my next video. I'm also going to be redoing the door panels and I'm making those myself because huh, I'm too cheap to pay somebody. And I don't sew so it'll be glue and staples and I have a few ideas of what I want to do and I'll run them past you and I will, when I do that video. Not to mention um, all the things I've done already on the car. I do have a lot of pictures and we'll go over some of that. Uh, again, this channel is going to be all about gassers. I have a lot of friends with gassers that I help, so their cars will probably be featured on here as well. So do me a favor, stay tuned, hit like, also hit subscribe, and uh, let's see this channel take off. Thank you very much.